on the way to the bully show. Came out here to the booty show real quick, show some love. We bought, we brought Blue Straw out real quick, make some friends real quick. But it was a good show while it lasted. So now I'm going home to feed my puppies and uh, bottle feed my my little puppy, my miracle. All right, guys. What up you guys? So today is a special day. It is a follow-up video that we are going to be doing on the puppies since they've been born. And let me just say it has been a roller coaster, not only a roller coaster, a blessing at the same time. As you guys can see, we had a bully event that we went to, and today marks five days that the puppies have been born. So I feel like we are going to be doing updates with you guys every so often and bringing you along on this journey with us so then that way you guys can see what we're doing, how we're going about it, and our journey as well. Let's go and see what these puppies are doing. Right All right, now. so update. We're going to go ahead and weigh the puppies for you. We're going to see what they weigh as of day number five and then go from there. A little update. Mom is doing very well. She's been really good. 
she's been attending to the puppies we did start bottle feeding number four just because if you guys can see in the video it's really small compared to the other puppies and i just feel like it's so small that they overpower this one so as it's on the feeding um it gets pushed away so we did just start bottle feeding just to make sure that it is being fed um but yes we're gonna go ahead and do weigh-in and see what we got i'm gonna go ahead and get my calendar because we're gonna mark oh look how precious she looks with her puppies i love her all right so we're gonna do puppy number one first let's see number one yeah so this is the firstborn i think it's the first the firstborn no this is the firstborn so day number five this is what it looks like very beautiful what do you call this one a fawn so these are called fawns um we're not going to say the sex yet but we are going to do the weight be careful it doesn't fall it's a pound it's a pound eight ounces a pound eight ounces good all right puppy number two is this one right here it is a blue and white babe yeah so it's a blue and white i know it kind of looks black on my camera i apologize but it is does have the tint of the blue oh there you go turn up the light so puppy number two a pound eight ounces a pound eight ounces all right going on to puppy number three this one looks just like mommy it is a brendel and is it a blue brendel like a, bren a blue brendel huh kind of blue kind of brown i don't know beautiful look at the face oh look at this so cute all right let's see how much this this was a pound of nine ounces Yep, 111. 111. All right, moving on to number four. Now, this is our special one. This is the one that Christian had to revive in the video. If you haven't seen the video, must go watch the birth of the puppies. This so is the smallest one. It is the cutest. So this is the smallest. And it looks kind of brownish black look black to me yeah but you can see a little bit of brown in it so like a ghost we don't know exactly yet this one kind of flops around doesn't really have nine ounces only nine ounces 9.5 all right so this is puppy number five it is the second smallest it does look like it is black look at this and this one has a little dot in the tail oh, a little patch of white it does have a dot on the tail oh really cute I love them all but it is smaller than the other first three bigger than the last so wow this one's a pound just one pound a pound one ounce all right all right you guys so as you guys can see today is day five we went ahead and weighed out the puppies and that's what they weigh as of today we are going to be weighing them out in the next couple days day five yeah today's day five for sure Yep, they were born on the 6th. And today's the 11th. Wow. Almost a week, huh? Yep. So, it has been. Today is day 5. I feel like um, in the next 2 days, we should weigh them again just to be safe and sorry. Just make sure they're growing mm -hmm. good. Um, so far, how do you feel with having puppies in the house? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of responsibility. It's like a newborn all over again. But with 5 of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. And I... And... For the most part, I feel Misty does good. Actually, the puppies are not that bad. It's just the number four. Yeah. Puppy number four doesn't really get really get to eat like the rest of them do. Mm -hmm. So we have to bottle feed him every time he cries. You know, it's just like, like a baby, you know. If it starts crying, it, maybe it's pooped or... Uh, right now, we are just focusing on getting them healthy, big, good, keeping an eye on them. We really haven't done much other than just spend time with them. The kids love them. Uh, Missy has not shown any type of aggression towards us or the kids. No aggression at all. No. She does not. She's more aware of Blue being around. That's my male dog. Mm -hmm. So she's more aware of him being around, but not so much anybody else. 
No, she's been getting up more. He doesn't later. want the baby daddy around. No, she doesn't. He's he's actually today. He's letting Blue a little bit close, getting closer, closer and closer to the puppies. No. Hmm. Interesting. And I feel like for some reason yesterday, today she's been really more active. She's been active since yesterday. Yeah, yesterday Misty's since been Friday. leaving, going outside, just mm -hmm. wandering. The first two to three days, she would not leave the puppies. She wouldn't eat. She wouldn't. She didn't want to do nothing. No. Yeah. So now it's been getting more to a normal routine. Um, I don't feel like she's not been eating or not drinking. She's been doing good. Yeah, she just she's good. she just got done eating. Uh -huh. What do you feed Misty and Blue? Um, intestines, uh, liver, you know, heart. Yeah. All the high high on protein. Organs, right? Anything that's or yeah, organs. Mm -hmm. So I, he does all this research. I don't do much about research. He researches everything to feed the dogs and what they do and do not need. We did call the vet to see if she needed a follow-up. And the vet said, we don't really need a follow-up unless something was wrong. Like if she's bleeding a lot or panting a lot or mm -hmm. her temperature drops, mm -hmm. but not, 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 nothing like that has happened. No, we try to put a diaper on her because she does have normal bleeding after giving birth, but that didn't go very well. That she takes them off. Yeah, so we just around the clock cleaning. I think that has been one of the eye openers for something like this is how dirty it can get. Oh, very dirty. Very dirty. So I do. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's uh, changing the pads, mm -hmm. changing cleaning, uh, making sure like the blood doesn't dry on the floor. Like it just, yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So I do recommend if you guys are looking into breeding dogs please understand it is not like easy simple like no because you, you have to make sure you have to make sure she doesn't you know sleep on them she doesn't yes. sit on them mm -hmm. make sure she's not stepping on them right you know make sure make sure that all puppies are eating mm -hmm. make sure you know if you have blankets for them make sure they're clean it's just everything, just all around. I think we we wash her blankets once a day. We wash them and like we do. We keep very it. It's a full time job. It is. Like, I can't even imagine somebody that works like full time job mm -hmm. then having to come home and do all that and worried about if mm -hmm. the puppies are okay. So, yeah, I do recommend if you are looking into breeding dogs, please make sure you're going to be dedicated and you have the time to do so. I do want to update you guys a little bit on what our process is going to be when we do decide to sell the puppies. Um, we are doing checks on the families. We are not just going to be randomly sending them to whomever. We are going to be thoroughly making sure that they are capable of holding a dog. The you know their housing that they live in is st uh, what's they qualify stable. stable they. How, if they have other pets, we do need to make sure that the other pets are going to get along with our puppies. Um, just everything all around. These, again, yes, we are breeding them, but we love them. They are still our puppies no matter what. And I just want to reassure you guys that we are going to be doing stuff like that. We are not just selling them for whoever and whatever. So... Mm -hmm. It is a process. We are going to bring you along on the process with us. So again, this is update number one on day five. And next update, we are going to be showing you guys more of what the puppies are going to look like and how many boys and how many girls we will be having. And I also told my husband I want to keep one. There is one puppy that I want and I do not want to give up. If somebody can offer me 6000 for that puppy, that's care. the only way I, I'll, I'll it's a high price trust me it is a high price and that's the only reason why i have it at high price I, if somebody really wants that puppy like dying for it then they they have no problem just get giving out six thousand dollars i don't i don't care how much money i don't want to sell i love it but we are going to keep you updated on that and that's something well, me and him the only reason why i'm doing that is because that means they really want a puppy so bad. It's a very beautiful puppy, and it is a puppy that a lot of people really try to get. It's a very, um, not high demand, um, what's the word? It's a rare color. It's a have. rare color. It's a color. rare curly habits. Please comment below. So another thing. 
we have not picked a kennel name for us. My husband and I have thrown out a couple names that we like. I feel like you guys have been there since day one. Legit, you guys have been there on the day of the birth of our very first litter. And I feel like you guys should have an idea or be involved in what our kennel name should be. So if you guys can do us a huge favor and help us out, comment below, comment down below. what you think our kennel name should be. And we will be announcing what the kennel name will be and who helped us pick the kennel name. All right, you guys. So we love you. Please like, subscribe, share, and make sure to join our family. And we will see you guys on the next video. We love you. Bye. Bye, guys.